from this video i would like to explain about visualize 2.874 and visualize 5.28 bar on the number line by using successive magnification from exercise 1.3 class 9th mathematics from ap and telangana state boards visualize 2.874 on the number line by using successive magnification successive magnification means this is a decimal number 2.874 so the decimal numbers representation of decimal numbers on the number line like this example hi this is madhu babu the first problem is visualize 2.874 on the number line using the successive magnification given decimal number 2.874 it lies between 2 and 3 so first you draw the number line to represent the numbers on the number line every two consecutive numbers should in equal distance so take 10 equal parts on this number line to take 10 equal parts on the number line we need 11 points so take a distance between every two consecutive to be 1 cm so take like this this is 0 1 2 for every centimeter you take one point to take 10 equal parts we need 11 points like this and the given decimal number is 2.874 it lies between 2 and 3 so in the mid middle of the number line take 2 and 3 like this this points represents to this point represents 3 so write the preceding numbers of 2 that is 1 0 Minus one, minus two, minus three. Succeeding numbers of three are four, five, six, seven, eight. And two point eight seven four lies between two and three. To get two point eight. draw another number line and maintain in equal distance presentation of successive magnification is important so draw neatly and again take 10 equal parts on the number line this number line so for taking 10 equal parts we need again 11 points so to keep 11 points on the number line like previous number line and 2.874 lies between 2 and 3 so here take to in bigger size so this one take 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 2.5 2.6 2.7 2.8 2.9 this represents 3 
right mention 3 in big size bigger size so by successive magnification it lies between 2 and 3 so join 3 to this 3 and join from this 2 to like this again 2.874 it lies between 2.8 and 2.9 so again draw another number line and take 10 equal parts on this number line so we required 11 points Two point eight seven four lies between two point eight and two point nine. So, from this two point eight, you write two point eight here, and this point represents two point eight one, two point eight two, two point eight three, two point eight four. 2.85 this is 2.89 and this one is 2.9 so this number line from magnification from 2.8 to 2.9 So this 2.8 join to 2.8 from the down line, and this 2.9 join to down 2.9. Again, 2.874 lies between 2.8 and 2.88. So. Draw another number line like previous number line, and take ten equal parts. That means we need eleven points. Two point eight seven four lies between two point eight seven and two point eight eight. So you write the first point as two point eight seven. so this indicates 2.871 2.872 2.873 2.874 2.875 2.876 2.877 this indicates 2.88 so this number line from 2.2.87 2.88 Around these two numbers, I and join this two point eight seven two down two point eight seven. And this two point eight eight two down two point eight eight. The required decimal number is two point eight seven four. So. Here this is two point eight seven four, so this is the required number. So mark it. This is the way to visualize given decimal number on the number line by using successive magnification. So this problem is completed. The next problem is visualize five point two eight bar on the number line. 
up to three decimal places only using successive magnification like previous problem we have to do 5.28 bar means 5.282828 and so on in this one we need up to three decimal places only three decimal points after point the digits are decimals so 5.28 bar is equals to take up to three decimal places so 5.28 to 5.282 so we are we need to take only three decimal places so up to three decimal places we have to represent 5.282 on the number line by using successive magnification like previous problem you draw a number line first take 10 equal parts on the number line we need 11 points to take 10 equal parts so take 11 points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 here the given number is 5.282 so 5.282 lies between 5 and 6 so in the middle of the number points you take 5 6 and take preceding numbers of 5 they are 4 3 2 1 0 succeeding numbers of 6 7 8 9 10 10 next 5.282 lies between 5 and 6 so draw another number line like previous problem and 10 take 10 equal parts so we required 11 points with same distance with 1 cm distance you take 11 points five point two eight two lies between 5 and 6 so first number you write 5 and this point represents 5.2 5 5.3 5.4 5.5 5.6 5.7 5.8 5.9 after that this is 6.0 so represents 6 so this number line by magnification from 5 to 6 came so join this 5 to down 5 draw a line and draw a line from this 6 to down 6 and again 5.282 lies between 5.2 and 5.3 so to represent this one draw again another number line like previous number line and again take 10 equal parts with same distance that is 1 cm distance so we required 11 points keep 11 points with 1 cm distance and 5.282 lies between 5.2 and 5.3 so the first point is 5.2 
and this represents 5.21 this point 5 5.22 5.23 5.24 5.25 5.26 5.27 5.28 5.29 and this represents 5.3 now ja, this number slides between 5.2 and 5.3 so around this 5.2 and 5.3 join this 5.2 to down 5.2 and again join this 5.3 to 5.3 down Next 5.282 lies between 5.282 to 5.29. So draw another number line like previous number line. This 5.282 lies between 5.28 and 5.29. So this point as 5.28. and this one represents 5.281 and 5.282 5.283 this one 5.284 this one 5.285 5.286 and this represents 5.29 so from above 5.28 to 9 we round it and join this 5.82 down 5.28 9 to down to 5.29 and given number is 5.282 5.282 here is there so the required decimal number is 5.282 so this is the required decimal number 5.282 on the number line by using successive magnification so this problem is also completed so this is the way to represent the decimal numbers on the number line if you like this video please like it and share it to those who need math basics and subscribe for more videos thank you thank you for watching